Hello to you, too. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but this is important. What is it? Back to the Future 2 was in the Back to the Future 3 case. <laughs> and Back to the Future 3 was, get this, in the Back to the Future 2 case. So? So, did you do that? Or am I in the house with an intruder? <laughs> Sheldon, I gotta go inside. It's getting rough out here. You're dodging the question. I knew it was you. <laughs> What was that? What was what? This isn't a very good connection, but it sounded like someone just released a Kraken. Okay, I'm hanging up now. You know there's no such thing as a Kraken. I was worried that you might be missing Leonard. <laughs> and that might be causing you to have bad dreams. You know, like the kind you'd get if you watched Clash of the Titans right before you went to bed. Sweetie, did you have a bad dream? To be honest, I did. Oh. Back to the Future 2 was in the Back to the Future 3 case. <laughs> Leonard did it. Good night. You wouldn't know to wait. Perhaps I should sleep here, so you don't miss Leonard as much. Because you're being kind of a baby about it. You know what? That would make me feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Good night. I'm so glad you guys are friends again. I'm glad you and I are friends again, too. No. Which reminds me, this came in the mail, and I want you to have it. 50 cents off of Vagisil. <laughs> Think of me when you apply it. Uh, can I just say, I've missed all of us hanging out together. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Um, since when can Kuth or Polly talk in front of the girls without a beer? Oh, that happened right after you left. But, uh, no one told me? Can't believe we forgot to tell him. <clears throat> Think of Sheldon when you apply it. I think this is the first time we've ever actually been alone together. Oh, I guess you're right. I wonder why that is. Well, off the top of my head, I'd say we don't have a lot in common except for the people we're involved with. Plus, when we first met, Penny warned me never to get into a car alone with you. You know, I bet you and I have more in common than we think. Such as? I don't know. Tell me some things you like. Uh, let's see. I like harps, Little House on the Prairie, medieval poetry, medieval literature. Hey, how about some music? <laughs> Great. Sheldon never lets me listen to music in the car. He doesn't want to be mistaken for a gang member. Find something you like. Beatles, boring. M&M, scary. Weird Al, how old are you? I enjoyed it. But when you told me I was going to be losing my virginity, I didn't think you meant showing me Raiders of the Lost Ark for the first time. My apologies. I chose my words poorly. I should have said you were about to have your world rocked on my couch. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you for watching it. It's one of my all-time favorites. It was very entertaining, despite the glaring story problem. <laughs> story problem? <You>, oh, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> what a dewy-eyed mooncalf you are. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark is the love child of Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, two of the most gifted filmmakers of our generation. I've watched it 36 times, except for the snake scene and the face-melting scene, which I can only watch when it's still light out. But... <laughs> I defy you to find a story problem. Here's my jaw. Drop it. All right. Indiana Jones plays no role in the outcome of the story. Like, if he weren't in the film, it would turn out exactly the same. Oh, I see your confusion. Now, you don't understand. Indiana Jones was the one in the hat with the whip. 
know, I do. And if he weren't in the movie, the Nazis would have still found the Ark, taken it to the island, opened it up, and all died, just like they did. <laughs> Let me close that for you. I've reconsidered. Uh, you can't work where I work. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Charlotte, I, I already signed the contract. I cashed a check. Mm. You are not going to come out of this looking good. Shella, I don't understand. I thought you said you were fine with it. Well, I was, but that was before Howard explained to me how awful it would be if he had to work with his significant other. He said what? Oh, now, don't be insulted. He just thinks too much of you would be mind-numbingly tedious. Excuse me, I need to have a chat with my husband. Yeah, well, now, what? keep it short. For, from what I gather, brevity is your friend. <laughs> So are we good here? <laughs> Listen to me, Sheldon misunderstood. What I meant was if we work together, there'd be too much of me for you, not the other way around. <laughs> Howard, if you're going to lie to your wife, don't start the sentence with Sheldon misunderstood. <laughs> well, that's a dead giveaway. Well? Okay, fine, I did say that and I think it's true. I think if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of why? <laughs> what exactly do you think you'd get sick of? His only options here are to fake a heart attack or have a real one. <laughs> it's nothing in particular. I... Is it my voice? Am I too bossy? My arm is feeling numb. <laughs> Nailed it. That's the wrong arm for a heart attack, doofus. <laughs> I know you're in the zone, but do you want some tea? <laughs> All right, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but uh, you haven't spoken in hours and I'm starting to get worried. Please say something. Leonard, prepare to be humbled and weep at the glory of my genius. <laughs> nope, it was better before. <laughs> Look at it. I feel like my mind just made a baby. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's not like human babies, which are loud and covered in goop. Holy crap, Sheldon. Did you just figure out a method for synthesizing a new, stable, super heavy element? Yo, did I? <laughs> Why, that can't be right. No one's ever done that before. Except me, because I just did it. <laughs> Sheldon and his brain, yeah. 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 Sheldon and his yeah, brain, yeah. Yeah, I definitely yeah. got it before. Sheldon and his brain.